hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i am going to be showing you how to install windows powershell on your linux operating system you can basically use this method on you know your kali linux your debian and um, you can use it on ubuntu and other similar linux distros so without wasting much of your time let us get to the video and um, if you're new to this channel please go to the channel and see the kind of videos we upload and do not forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on our new videos let's get to the video so welcome back guys um to install powershell you're going to be you know you're going to be using a, a linux distro all right um, the last video I posted was a video on how to install Kali Linux. So I'm going to be using Kali Linux. Okay, so I'm going to log into my to my Kali Linux um, CLI terminal now, as you can see. Then, and um, I'm going to update the terminal, and I'm going to install a package called wget. Wget is a package you can use to, you know, to download files from the internet. All right. So to install wget, you're going to be using the command apt install wget. All right and um, i'm going to click on enter and my terminal should update in a bit and wget should be installed okay all right now that that has been done the next thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to confirm the the system architecture of my of my terminal all right or my phone or my system okay as you can see mine is amp version 71 which means my system is a 32-bit system if you get am um, hf arm hf it means you're using a 32-bit system but if it is am 64 or at 64 then your system is 64 bits all right so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a directory and you're going to name the directory powershell all right to do that use the command make gir powershell as you can see there is a new directory here called powershell right there so i'm going to navigate into that directory now by using the command cd powershell which is change directory to powershell okay so we're in the powershell directory now and um, i'm going to be downloading the the powershell table from you know from github so i'm going to be pasting the link to this in the article in the description below so make sure you go there and check it out all right so i'm going to wait for this to load up now and um, you're going to scroll down to assets you're going to scroll down and locate assets okay assets assets okay here it is so um, i'm going to be downloading the powershell 7.3.2 um the 32-bit file as you can see i'm 32 but if your system is 64 bits you're going to be downloading the am 64 okay so it is important to check your system architecture before producing before proceeding with this so and um we're going to give it a little bit of time to finish downloading and the download has been completed so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to extract this file all right so i'm just going to copy it copy then you're going to type the command tar dash xvf all right and you're going to paste the name of that file there paste and you're going to click on enter so that should extract the file all right and all of the you know all of the tools inside so i'm just going to wait for this now to finish extracting and um okay yeah the extraction has been completed as you can see now so we're going to clear that and um, the next thing we're going to do is as you can see the pwsh file here right here that is the command we're going to be using to start powershell okay so i'm going to to start powershell and use powershell in your linux terminal all right or your linux operating system you're going to type the command dot forward slash then you're going to type pwsh which is the powershell file and um powershell should be launched as you can see powershell has been launched and um yeah if i type the my command or the help command now you're going to see that um, with the help command you can you know you can get all the help you need with commands and you know how to use powershell and for those of you that are already used to the powershell terminal 
you can just continue using it that way all right so you know just the normal way you use your your powershell on your windows computer you can use it on your linux distro just like this so this this is is not useful for kali alone you can use this on debian and also ubuntu okay as long as it is linux and for those of you that are using at linux i think there is there is a version there in github for arc all right so if i type the command who am i as you can see it says i'm root because i'm in the root directory of the you know the powershell folder and um, if i type the dir command which is you know this popular windows command for you know listing directory and as you can see it is listing the directory in this particular folder so um if you want to use this in gui for those of you that you know that are using the gui which is the the the, the desktop interface okay i'm just go i'm going to quickly switch to to my desktop interface now and as you can see just by typing the same commands and using it the same way you did in the cli you can use it on your gui also so if i type the dot forward slash pwa search command as you can see powershell has been launched and um yeah just the usual way just the usual way okay so this is how you install powershell on on any linux distro at all if you have questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll be sure to reply you as fast and as soon as i can and um, if I'm not replying you early in the in the comment section, you can you know message me directly on WhatsApp. I'm going to be dropping my WhatsApp link in the description. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.